one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I've got here for you today is a really nice 1996 Dodge Ram 2500 with the V10. Yeah, baby, all truck. I'm a big fan of the V10 V8s like the 460s or the V10s or the 440s and such like that. I'm a big fan of the V8 gas models just because there's so much less money than a diesel. And I got a wind today and I'm sorry about that. I'm going to try and make sure that we do the best we can here. Um, but these things are just a steal. For the kind of truck you're getting, you have to drive that diesel a million miles to even start making it pay for itself. It's just a big switch off. You save tens of thousands of dollars depending on the truck. So, this is a B10. It's in nice shape. You can see a dent there on the side. I'm going to go around this as an exterior review. I'm going to show you all the exterior damage, dents, dings, or anything like that. It's not a whole lot to talk about, but you can see there's a little bit there on the side. And I'm going to show you everything where you get a good idea what you're looking at. And if you're looking for a truck like this, it's only got 96,000 miles. One owner on this thing. Nice truck. So, with that in mind, I'm going to start showing you up um, oneownercarguy.com for about 60 pictures in a video. Make sure to subscribe here on YouTube. I do new videos every week. And I'm going to show you up under it right now. We'll just kind of get to going. We needed a valve cover gasket set when I got it. And we got that done. Um, it doesn't seem to leak all over the place or anything anymore. Um, looks like they've replaced that seal on the differential. I don't know if you can see that there. There we go. Um, but we got that fixed. It doesn't look like there's any leaks on that. We couldn't really tell what was leaking at first because there was so much coming from the valve cover. So we got them done and it's just not leaking all over no more. So hopefully that's the deal. Um, old truck, I'm sure at some point you replace an alternator or starter or just some part on it. Who knows? But for the most part, it's a clean truck. I'm going to show you up close any damages and such and what we're looking at. Um, this piece here would look much better all um, decked out with some uh, vinyl renewer or something but the rubbers plastics are all in great shape um, hood you got a spot here starting to get in the paint and the clear coat a couple here and there a reverse ding here like they had a screwdriver under the hood or something close the hood I don't know it's a couple spots on the hood it's not perfect um, these here things I think are additions I'm not a hundred percent how that goes but there they are, and the clear coat is faking, flaking off of them. Some marks in it here and there. Um, nothing too big, except for, well, when we go around the other side, you'll see the worst of it. Um, tires, you got good shaped tires here. Um, I don't know, half tread or so. Uh, this stuff's starting to dry up in the middle section. The black on the emblems is starting to go. A little scuff on the mirror there. And these little pieces are starting to curl up like they do. Uh, other than that, on this side, I got a couple dings right here, kind of corrosionary chips or something, and that whole piece there is just kind of got paint flaking and miscellaneous this and that, but it's not cracked up or anything. It's in good shape. There's a dent there, and man, a couple little scrapes and scratches, nothing too deep. Um, you know, a little tiny ding there, you can hardly see. A couple insignificant things here and there. Um, ding here. And I think that's a ding here and here. I've showed you basically what's on this side. There's just a couple dings and a little clear coat fade as such. Um, ding in there somewhere. I might have a ding here. So that's dinged up. A couple little places. Um, the shell's in good condition. I believe the paint on the top is pretty much all but burnt off. I'll show you that. Yeah. It's just all flaky, half of it's there. Um, plastic pieces, good condition. Light surroundings and stuff, good condition. He scuffed it up, but he didn't bust none of the lenses or nothing here. I can't tell, that looks like it's a crack right there. Tiny crack in that. Nothing needs replaced, but it's there, and I want to be completely honest with you on everything. Same thing, a little crack there on that one. A little scuffy thing right there. Chrome's in good condition, a little scuff, a little ding. He dinged it there, he dinged it there, he dinged it there, he dinged it there. Ding, 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 ding. Yes, sir, we got the hitch. I'll give you this drop hitch with it. Um, it's locked on, so you're going to have to bust the lock. Um, it's got this hookup. It's got more hookups on here somewhere. Um, I thought it had 
another hookup. Let's just say it's got that one. It's got Rancho RS9000 shocks. Nice shocks and stuff. Stuff's been maintained and replaced on it. Um, it's a good looking truck and that spare doesn't look like it's ever been on the road. Might have been, I don't know. This is a, a serious truck. It's a California truck. Um, so yeah. Scuffs in the shell and you can see the clear coat and the pink fan off coming down this side. Right there, right there, and all over right here. A little scuffy ding air and the worst of the damage is on this side. Well, it's not this, but this piece is scuffed up and has a little tear right there and right here because of this. Don't know what, don't know when, don't know how, but the guy scraped it from here to there. He pulled out of it, but it kind of went from stem to stern or whatever you want to call it there and that is the worst of the damage on this truck um, easily fixed easily popped out and um, even just welding on a bedside they do that for it's just a couple hundred dollar piece or something 300 bucks 200 bucks check out what you want to do on it me i'd drive it just like it is drive the heck out of it same thing's happening here on this piece if you wanted to replace it these are cheap on ebay clear coat type stuff starting to go in the black right there that's a big dent in the side of your truck that's all there is to say about it. But it's a good running truck. It's in great shape. Look at these tires. I mean, we're talking this thing. There's still tread in the center, little titties all on the side. That tire is stinking 95% there. And they match. So he must have uh, replaced these two at some point. That's a nice set of tires. The front, I don't know if they're the same. I would say they're 60%, but I don't want to overrate myself. And so I'm going to say 50 to 60. God, they could be 65. I don't know. They match, so he matched the fronts and matched the backs under the wheel wells and all that. As clean as can be. It's a clean truck. It's a clean truck that's got a few dents. I mean, what are you going to say? Things get dense in life. That's just what happens. Heck, this truck half my age, and I got more dents and dings than you can even imagine. Got a dent there I didn't talk about. This is starting to just a tad bit dry right there. No, you know, it's just got um, maybe a tad bit dry. It's got little fibers stuck to it from that. So I got a step here. It's not that deep of a step, so you gotta get used to the way it is. But here we are. I'm gonna go for a quick test drive. I'm actually up here at the gym, and I'm gonna just kinda test drive it when my friend gets ready. I left early. So I'm looking forward to that much of a workout anyway. Let's take a ride down memory lane here. These trucks are powerful. These trucks are quick. They're nice little trucks. That's all I have to say about it. This guy wants to turn, but he doesn't want to come over here with me or something. I don't know. We're doing it. We're doing it in two and a minute. Isn't it? Shifts nice, drives nice. I'm going to hit the windows a little bit here. It's a beautiful day out. I drove this from, uh, not even LA, Ventura down to Lakeside, which is pretty much as far east as you can get in San Diego to as far north as you can possibly get the county past LA. I mean, it's a good three and a half hour drive, I guess. Depends. <laughs> Some days it's six, seven hours. Plenty of power. Shifts nice. And I'll tell you what, this thing will pull the bark off a tree. Took a couple of loads of the dump in it and stuff like that. Loaded this thing up with tree stumps and pieces of concrete, tree branches and palm tree prongs and you name it. Man, it wasn't even like you had anything in the back. It was just like you're just driving. You just put your foot in it and the thing goes. Um, Ford, Chevy, Dodge. Man, I ain't here to get racist or truckist on you. I'm just a guy selling a nice, clean, one owner, low mile rig. And it's gonna come with any of the unique things that a um, rig comes with in those particular styles. Be it a, oh, crack in the windshield, by the way. Be it a Ford, be it a Chevy, be it a Dodge. They all have their own little things, I guess you'd say. And this one's gonna have anything that one of these have. Um, I was gonna check something. Yeah, 90,000 miles. I thought it was 96,000, but it is a 96 with 90,000. Yeah, I'm gonna take a picture here real quick. I just wanted one in a different area. 
Why does it seem like I'm at work when I take a picture of a pickup truck next to a concrete plant? I don't know, but that's how it feels. This truck is nice. And I actually was pulling up at the gym and I pulled up next to some guy. I think he's in about a 2015 to 2017, let's say, Chevy Duramax. And I'm like, ha, 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 ha. And Gunner goes, what? My friend, we're working out there. I go, this guy's got 95, 85, 75,000 in his truck. There's Fords and Chevys around. These things range 65 to $95,000. This thing's a fraction of it. I can just laugh and laugh. It's a, it's a very small fraction of it, which is even funnier. I mean, man, what do you need for a pickup truck? If you're out there pulling stuff every day, going from uh, San Diego to Florida or San Diego to New York, you might need a diesel truck on the road if you're hauling 26,000 pounds back and forth and back and forth for 200,000 miles a year. But if you're the guy that's just cruising around town and wants a pickup truck, you need a V10. Heck, you might not even need this V10. You might need a little 318 or something, a 360. This is a lot of truck, and you don't really need this much truck unless you're pulling something or just hauling something or needing a pickup truck. It's a pickup truck. When you get this, be ready to help people move. Yeah, that's the deal. You know the deal if you've had a truck. So, I don't know what else to say about it. It's a nice running truck. First thing I do is throw some pipes on it. I don't know why I've never, at this point of my adult life, heard a Dodge V10 that was piped out. I just think it'd be so cool. Look up Dad's Redneck Mercedes on YouTube and you'll see him. We piped out a, um, a 90s model S500. Super cool W140 Mercedes with that huge hemi head type of a S500 5.0 liter. My God, that's an amazing motor. And when you unleash the sound through straight pipes, whoo, I tell you what, nice. Kind of like I think this would be. But you might get a little bit of that Ferrari-ish, R8-ish sound and stuff. You know what I mean? V10, V10, you got it. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm going to turn this thing around a different way to where when I come back in to do my video here, it's a different way. Get a different picture and la da da I'll be back to do a interior video and that type of stuff tonight. Show you all the options on that end and what have you. But I'm going to tell you right now, if you're looking for a pickup truck and you're needing a pickup truck that's got a lot of pool power and low miles and low maintenance costs and good pickup truck, if you're looking for that, stop it and call me because I got it. It's sitting right here. It's 406-546-8748. If it's later on and you ain't good enough to click the button to find out this was made six years ago or something, actually right now it's not six years ago, it's September of 2018. But later on, if it's gone, I've always got something like this. Give me a ring at 406-546-8748. Subscribe on YouTube. I do all kinds of videos every week. And make sure and check out the website, oneownercarguy.com. And you'll see all kinds of stuff on there. And maybe there'll be something else you're interested in. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are, oneownercarguy.com. One Owner Car Guy, oneownercarguy.com. And this is the review of the interior of this absolutely gorgeous 1996 Dodge Ram 2500 4x4, one owner, 90,000 miles. Now I'll show y'all, I showed y'all the bumps and bruises and stuff in the exterior walk around. This is gonna be an interior video, but I like giving a walk around of the exterior in the lowered light, if you will, to where you can see exactly how the truck shines or looks. You get no shadows and the bright makes it brighter and I wanna make sure you know what you're getting. And this is just a little walk around of it, a quickie, if you will. And then I'm going to get to showing you the inside, under the hood first, and all that sort of stuff. Um, show you in the shell. It's a snug top shell. Um, very good brand. Paint, as you see on the top, is faded a little bit. And you can see that little ding um, in the front of the hood and in the dent in the side of the bed. Nice truck. Great tires. Great everything. Great, great, great. Even got the original plate holder, which is an amazing thing. These things, they all break and fall apart. The plastic on these is not so tough on things like that. Even all the... Um, this, it's not got no cracks in it. This piece is split around from the bowl, but it's all on there and it's not all cracked up. There's a little bend in it right there, but it's all there. All the plastics and it's a good truck. The guy took care of it. Okay, I'm gonna pop the hood, show you that. I'm gonna show you in the snug top first. It's a Laramie SLT. 
You can get a hold of me at 406-546-8748. There's the mileage for you. 90,000. Now, you know what? I just realized. Let's get this thing turned up. And I'm going to have to use my light. It's getting to be that time of the year that the, the brights are not as bright. Beautiful day. The moon's already out. The crows are at me. Look at that antenna. People in other states don't know that they use antennas like trees sometimes, but they do. Why am I talking about that instead of this beautiful V10 engine? I don't know. I won't say this engine's a work of art, but this engine's a work of art. These are cool motors. Um, I'm a very big gasser fan, if you will, because they um, are so much cheaper. That's all there is to say about it. It's the Magnum, baby, the Magnum motor. So whatever the deal, this is the truck. It's a great truck. Um, showed you pretty much everything here. Um, just clean as can be, just clean as can be. Uh, besides the obvious things on the outside, um, and what I'm going to show you now on the inside, oops, I've got a pin, hang on one sec, it's just as nice as it gets. So, oh, in the snug top, I told you I'd show you that, let's show you that. Boom, bed work great, it is a true snug top with the serial number and all. It's got screens, there's some tears in the screens inside. Slider in the back of this and in the back of the truck, of course. Don't have a key for this. By the way, do not have a key for it. So, your snug top is snug, but it's not secure. You can get them replaced very inexpensively. Door panels, great condition. Let me get um, my light on here for you. Let show you some things. Oh yeah, definitely helps. No pedal wear, this truck's been taken care of. That's all there is to say about it. Somehow I lost my camera right now, so I'm sorry. I'm gonna take this key out, because that's annoying. Goodness. Okay, hang on now, I'm sorry. Oh wait, the light's on. Seats, great condition, not all torn up. A little bit of thin wear, I guess you'd call it right there starting. Great shape. Uh, a little bit of an imprint from where that's usually been left down, it looks like. Yeah, exactly. Um, headliner, great condition. Yeah, that light does help. And behind the seats and the carpeting and all. It, it's a really nice, good shape truck. Um, any of the, I didn't know if them flipped up, any of the problems with it are very straightforward, being the dent here and the paint on the roof of the camper. As far as a, a work truck or a hunting rig, man, this is it. Um, a low mile one like this is nice to get a hold of. You've always got the chance something's gonna go out. I mean, it's just an old truck and stuff goes out on old trucks. Don't have the manuals or nothing for it. There ain't really a whole lot of intricate stuff you need them for. A couple cracks in the dash. If you're familiar with these Dodges, they all get it. That's all there is to say about it. Jack tools and such to get the tire down. Nice seat. They don't even look like it's been set in back there. It doesn't even look like it's been set in. 4x4, four four, baby. 4x4. Four four. Door panels again. Great shape. This here's a little falling apart, that piece in the corner. Um, yeah, there you go. Corrosionary type stuff starting on the rails like a lot of them get. And that is the insides. Let's go over some options real quick. Truck looks good. That's all there say, is to say about it. The truck looks good. I wasn't going to, um, well, I wasn't gonna take another picture, but I've decided I'm going to take another picture, so I'll talk to you in a minute. Okay, inside options. The truck has all sorts of options. That's all there is to say about it. Cruise on the wheel, power mirrors, power windows, power locks. Power this, power that, Alpine radio. Everything works as it should. Here's the cracks I was talking about, which is actually in good shape for one of these, these Dodge Dashes. They completely deteriorate. At some time in every Dodge, you're going to have to get a replacement dash. Just all there is to say about it. Low wash fluid is the only warning light that stays on. Everything else is gone, 90,000. Um, as far as windows go, all that works. 
computer up here. The lights are here with the dimmer switches and stuff. All that works. All this works. And that's one thing about this truck. The stuff works. The overdrive button works. That fog light ain't turning on. Let's see. That ain't turning on. I don't know why. Cup holders. Guess I pulled that too hard. So that's good. If you pull too hard, it'll come out. Um, AC's cold, but it's not cold. It's not as cold as it should be. Um, mirrors. Let's get out, in, up, down. I got a little bit where I wanted it. In, up, up, down. All the windows are good. Um, oh wow, this is plugged into the power outlet. And you know what? Somebody at the auction used it. That thing has been used once. There's an ash still on it, man. It's just not been smoked in or ain't got no smell of it in the power outlet. That's where they put it. A little rattle on the, like a heat shield or something on the uh, muffler or something like that. Um, other than that, your truck is quite the truck. Let's get out on the road, go for a test drive. I drove this thing to LA and back a few times, well past LA, I drove it to Ventura and back. I'm in Lakeside, um, which is extreme east of San Diego. Um, lights and all that are good. Um, there's a little, even the little pad over there. It gets down and goes, it's a nice truck, but I wanted to show you, even the little pad is still there. I was gonna go that way, but let's just change direction here. There we go, okay. So these guys are all going, I'll be back. thinks I want to pass him, so he's revving up on me. He's gone now, but kind of way I was going anyways. So, just nice driving truck. Um, I can't say anything bad about it. Ford, Dodge, Chevy, some people have their favorites. You know what? I like a good low mile rig. The brand don't matter. When somebody takes care of it, you can feel it shift or how you can't feel it. I could. But you can see it shift like it should there and hear it with the way it did it and stuff. I mean, it's a nice truck. Downshift is great, upshift is great, brakes nicely, the suspension's nice. It's a great work truck. Um, it's just a great pair, pair of wheels too. I consider the things like this work trucks. When you got a V10, man, I got myself like a cheap Mercedes. Like, you can get a nice $2,500 to $7,500 Mercedes that gets twice the gas mileage of this. I mean, that's what you're going to get for like the everyday type of car. Um, on something like this, man, this pulled bark off a tree. This thing is, it's me. So, whatever. I guess you wouldn't want to drive around unless you're carrying a load is what I'm saying. Get out there and pull something. Do some work. Work truck. Why else would you want to get less than... 20, 25 in a V8, I mean, my goodness. Nice truck, I'm just blabbing about nothing now because I mean, I, I, I really like the fact that these old rigs like this are so inexpensive now. As much as they get for trucks nowadays, it's insane. I mean, if you got a good set of wheels and you just need a truck sometimes, this is the perfect truck for you. So, that in mind, this guy's gonna slow up. Man, it just downshifts like it should and next thing you know, you're eating transports for dinner transport vans that is. So, my goodness, this guy is dangerous. Just plain dangerous. Oh my goodness. Lady was just holding on the wheel for all she was worth. Okay, that's the deal. Going 25 and a 45. Come on, woman. Yeehaw! Good truck. Okay, if there's any questions or anything like that, you can reach me at 406-546-8748.
um, I might give you a little bit of a test drive back to the shop or something. Right now I'm going shopping. So I gotta buy a couple things and I'm gonna say goodbye. And thank you for watching. Um, we'll get this test drive right to the Albertsons parking lot. Good truck. Turns on a dime too, my goodness. Well, essentially I got my 1% fat free milk and my light butter. And the Kramer went dead right before I went in the store there. So now I'm going to get dollar bag ice. And I will just give you a video on the way to the dollar bag ice store. And kind of give you an outro. Because this is getting to be a, a dark day, I tell you, a dark day. Getting dark earlier, getting to be winter. So that's the deal. It's a truck, it's cheap, it's low mile. One guy's taking care of it, and that's the deal. Um, website, oneownercarguy.com. There'll be 50, 60 pictures of this truck and lots of other stuff. Got my eyes. Oh my, my lady is here. Okay, got back to the lot here. Lexuses, Cadillacs, Mustangs, Corvettes, Mercedes wagons, Mustang convertibles up the yin yang here. All kinds of economical family cars and heck, I even got a Honda, we'll say. I want to take convertibles and a sweet 3500 dually. And then this here 2500 we've been doing. That's the video. Oneownercarguy.com. And make sure and subscribe here on YouTube. And if you're looking for a truck, car, SUV, look, I got all kinds of stuff. Got an all-wheel drive Magnum there. Ooh, but nice, that little Buick looks. Got some nice stuff here. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are, oneownercarguy.com.